<clears throat> Hello. We're going to unbox and set up a real link security camera that runs on solar. Todd's not there, just. What does Todd do on our property? Furiously masturbates next to our trailer. <laughs> That's my theory. So that we can make sure that our neighbor isn't a problem and neither is anyone else. Here, even though our neighbor is, what, a quarter mile away, at least, he's still a little bit of a problem and I'll get a bit more into that. So here we have the solar panel. It's IP65 weatherproof. And here we have the Reolink Argus 3 Pro. It has a smart alarm with person vehicle detection, 2.4 and 5 gigahertz dual band Wi Fi, color night vision, rechargeable battery power, or you can use the solar panel, and also IP65 waterproof. Now, Full transparency, Reolink did send me the camera and the solar panel. They are not paying me for the video. I don't make any money off of whether or not you buy it. Um, they just wanted me to talk about it. And it just so happened that it will come quite in handy. All right, for the initial setup, you have to download the app. To get the broadest overview of our property, we decided to install the security camera to this tree. Installing this is super simple. It just comes with a base that you screw into anything that you can screw into. In this case, we chose a tree that's able to oversee our vehicles and the property. You mount the camera into it and you have a cord which we have wrapped up around this tree. And then we mounted the solar panel to this block of wood so we can move it if needed with any sunshine changes. However, this has actually been just fine. It only takes a couple hours to charge the camera, so the morning sun takes care of it each day. It literally took me 10 minutes to install the camera to the tree. It just required a screwdriver uh, and it's pretty self-explanatory. Getting it connected to the app was even easier because literally all you do is download the app and then scan the QR code that's on the back of the camera and it sets you through a couple prompts and you're set up. You can adjust everything that you want to adjust. So we have it set so that we're alerted to any people, any movement, any vehicles. Uh, we get pinged notifications when it alerts to these things and um, it saves the videos to the cloud. Hey, so we've had the Rio link set up for quite a few days now. However, we've been here the whole week because we're working. So I just got off work, it's Thursday, um, and we have to go fetch water and run a couple other errands. And so I wanted to show how we're using the security camera to you know, watch for anyone that might come mess with the trailer and our property. The thing about not having a lot of stuff is you really value the few things that you do have. So for peace of mind, the real link is gonna help us monitor the property from anywhere. I am using my Verizon My5. It's the 5G one uh, that I use for work. I'm using this as its connector to live stream it. What's really nice is you can talk through it too. So if we pull this up and we did notice anyone or a bear or something on the property, we're actually able to talk right through the app on the phone and it projects through the camera. There's a little bit of a time delay, but not too bad. Let's go run a couple errands and we'll pull up the security camera while we're out and see how it works. Our current water haul spot is about 45 minutes away from the property, so it's nice to be able to check in whenever we want. Hello. So we just stopped to get garbage food for the night and I'm going to check one more time to see. There's something stupidly peaceful about seeing that nothing is happening at home.
We need to tell the story of Todd. It's not really Todd that's the issue. It's the other one. Who's the other one? Crazy neighbor number two. The one that comes on the property. Oh, yeah. You're the one that's had to deal with it. What's the... It's happened twice now. Yeah, it's it's a fine line. I can't tell if he's just trying to be like friendly and make a new friend despite the age difference or if he just wants to be like a busybody and kind of just get onto the property and see what we're doing. When was the first time that he rolled up onto the property uninvited? Well, it wasn't directly onto the property. The first time was um, I was meeting with the contractor that was finishing up our, our crappy driveway. And uh, he just rode up because he had he was a concerned neighbor that had heard noises from the construction and was curious what was going on. Uh, talked about how there was uh, some neighbor that was a busy busy busybody ca causing problems for a lot of the neighbors and reporting things. And it just came across the in the delivery of that that I was talking to that person, <laughs> that, that, that he was, that he, was the busy that he in fact was the busybody. Um, so I don't know, I can't tell if he's just friendly or if he's somebody to be like slightly concerned about. I certainly don't like anyone that you've just met that just feels comfortable. Like imagine like we have a like kind of a secluded property, it's tucked away and for someone to just, after one Who lives brief a mile meeting, away from us. yeah, to like just, show up one day just confidently drive up the driveway having my number like and being able to text and and ask if it's a good time to come over and just showing up like that i mean that's the kind of thing that annoys you when like a good friend does it let alone some stranger that you just met briefly you know what i mean yeah and i think we acted in such a way at that time the second time. The, the second time that he like showed up like that, that I think that's either discouraged him from coming or again, or he's just been back when we weren't there and snooped around. But I think we were cordial when he showed up the second time. Yeah, but we also didn't like do that thing like where you walk someone in and kind of greet them into the actual space. We kind of like kept him at the halfway point of the driveway. He brought his dog, and we have two dogs that don't appreciate that. Yeah, and that's another thing. Like, you know, it, you can't we should just be do that. we should feel comfortable having our dogs like free when we want to give them that freedom, without worrying about someone else's dog just popping up on the property and causing a problem. Yeah. Um, so it is. What it is. Okay, I gotta finish driving, and then later we'll tell you the story of Todd. Who? The story of Todd. The ballad of Todd. The ballad of Todd. Because we're going away. We're going to a thing in a city that's like two hours away. A unnamed city. In an unnamed state. So we have to leave the MiFi on in order to have the camera work, but this is where I think we're both really thankful to have the real link so that we can monitor Definitely. everything. We just while got we're it set away. up with like uh, you know, cloud support so we get notifications if anyone is here and those videos are automatically backed up in case to the know. cloud. So if someone stole the actual device, we would still have the video. And the cloud storage is free. The basic package is free. So Apparently. yeah, so the camera itself is like, I don't know, it's under $100 for everything. The solar panel and the camera are around 100 bucks. Um, you know, it's super good value. And then I'll pull up on the app so we can check in while we're while we're out. We're gonna go see Jim Norton. That's gonna totally give it away. Oh, <laughs> no. anyway. clip that. So we just got out of the thing that we were at, but what we came to find is that the MiFi must not be connecting to the internet. Can you pull up the security camera? Anytime we try to pull up the security camera, it wouldn't connect and it's not our internet now. Is it pulling it? 
It is. It pulled it now. It pulled it now. So I don't know why, but the MiFi device wasn't connecting, but we are getting it now. Can I show on camera your phone real quick? So yeah, it's not probably very pretty, but since we are a couple hours from home, it's nice to have the peace of mind that we can check in. But obviously it's really important that you have reliable internet. My MiFi is really good with the WeBoost on, but storm interference or clouds or anything like that can make it spotty. So we did lose it for a little bit, but at least we can see the trailer's still there. It's still there. The solar panel's still there. Oh yeah, we left the solar panel out, so all that's still there. So yeah, so back to the woods. Yes. <laughs> We're forest people. We're forest people, but we came to this city for a night. <laughs> All right. It's nice to have an off-grid security system that can run on solar because we don't have electrical hookups and we don't have traditional internet. So this means that whether you're stationary in an RV or you're mobile in an RV, you can have a security system that's gonna work for an off-grid lifestyle. Um, so I think that's really important to convey. I know that it's like a product review video, but I think it's an important one because uh, people are pieces of shit sometimes, right? Would you agree with that, honey? There's shady people. There's shady people. That's a nicer way to say it. And so it's nice to be able to have some peace of mind while you're away from your trailer, your RV, your rig, whatever. Um, we didn't ever tell the ballad of Todd, so we're gonna we're gonna give him his due maybe in the next video. He kind of almost deserves his own video. You know, he's the type of person you only have to meet three or four times. <coughs> To be able hopefully. to, hopefully. <laughs> oh my God, wouldn't it be nice? But, uh, it, you know, it only took a couple encounters to have a lot of story to Todd. We'll give a short synopsis of it. When you're stationary and you have neighbors, it's a lot different than when you are a nomad, because if you don't like your neighbors as a nomad, you turn your key and you drive away. Now, even though one of our neighbors is a quarter mile away and the other one is an entire mile away, they still have proven themselves to be nuisances. So we have to deal with that and have home security. We also heard a mountain lion last night. Frightening. <laughs> <laughs> I heard something while we were laying in bed that I could hear over the TV and I turned off the TV and I said, what the hell is that? It sounded like just some animal like kind of screaming in the night. Lex immediately thought that it was... At first you thought it was a coyote. Because I, I couldn't hear it. Then I opened the door with everything turned off. All the lights turned off, all the TV, everything was quiet and dark. And we just could hear this animal maybe, what, 50 yards from here? Yeah, maybe, maybe like, 50 yards. Um, very close on our property and screaming. And when we ended up like Googling like animal sounds like scream it it sounds most like a mountain lion screaming a young one at that maybe like screaming for a parent yeah um so, so yeah. the the audio that we heard linked up with audio that we found on youtube so thanks youtube for coming through again on the education front um but yeah so you know that's something else a good reason for an off-grid property to have a security camera is because you don't know what's going to wander through also we got a notice from, um, we don't have an HOA or a neighborhood association, but we do have some very friendly and very involved neighbors, even though, again, some of them are two miles away. But apparently there's a mama bear and two cubs that have been getting into people's stuff. So that's another good reason to have the camera to capture any bear activity. I think the trail cam is more for the the security cam. I'm expecting just to catch some weird neighbor. This is a really safe area, but one we're of like the, in the middle of nowhere. But one of the main problems here is like property theft. True. Trespassing. So th there's like very minimal crime 
outside of property theft and trespassing. And so since we're so far removed and we're like at the very end of a road, um, you know, we just don't want to have any problems because people might think that it's like a secret place that they could go or, you know, this property was um, just an investment property for the past 20, 30 years. So it means no one was almost ever here. So we don't know if locals thought that this was like, you know, a, a place that they could come camp or hang out or whatever. So it is not. It is not. <laughs> not anymore. So we want to keep an eye on it. So <coughs> let me know what you think in the comments below. If you think, you know, uh, a solar powered off grid security camera is some, something that you would like. Um, also, you know, if, if you guys have any questions or anything about some of the things we're doing, or like if you saw in the security camera that we just have a giant cistern laying on its side in front of the house. <laughs> you know, those are the things that we'll get to in subsequent videos in addition to the Ballad of Todd. <laughs> yeah. But thank you for watching. We really appreciate it and hope that you enjoyed. Uh -huh. <laughs>